Since we are aware that uh, we have addition and subtraction with significant figures, let us proceed with multiplication, division, and trigonometric functions with significant figures. If in addition and subtraction, we will follow the least precise measurement. In multiplication, division, and trigonometric function, we will follow the number with the least significant figures. Okay? Least significant figures. So for example, we have 50.55 times 12.0 degrees times cosine 13.0 degrees. Now take note of the operations used in the problem. Here, we are dealing with multiplication. So since we are only dealing with multiplication, then we can just directly solve that in our calculator. So we will input that in our calculator, and our calculator will give us an answer of 526.90703. That is the answer in the calculator. So we can put it in the calculator. So we can put it in the calculator. Okay? But the problem is, what will be our final answer? Remember, this is multiplication and the rule says that our answer must only have the least number, must only have the least number of significant figures. So we will count the number of significant figures in our given. This has four significant figures. This has five significant figures. This has three significant figures. So what is the least number of significant figures? We have three, right? So that means our answer must only have three significant figures. One, two, three. That means our answer must be until six. Kasi siya yung least significant figures. Yung third, okay? Next, uh, take note of the number next to six. And this time, this, that is nine. And since nine is greater than uh, five, greater than five is nine, that means uh, six will be around it. Ah, so our final answer will be 527. Let's have another problem concerning multiplication and division with significant figures. So we have 125.50 multiplied by 2.7 multiplied by 35.1 all over 10.2. And they know the operations used in the problem. This time, we only have multiplication and division. And we only have one rule for multiplication and division. And that is the least number of significant figures. So, we can just solve this using our calculator directly. So, we put that in our calculator. And that will give us 1,166. 0.042647 Yan yung sagot sa calculator So, huwag ka worry dyan So, yan yung sagot sa calculator Now, what will be our final answer? Take note, this is multiplication and division and the rule for multiplication and division is to follow the least number of significant figures So, we'll count the number of significant figures This has 5 significant figures This has Two significant figures, this has three significant figures, and this has another three significant figures. So, such are the least number of significant figures. So, we have two. The least number of significant figures in our given is two. So, that means our answer must only have two significant figures. So, we have one, So, I write it to one, one, two. That means, hanggang dito lang tayo. Okay? Now, Take note of the number next to 1, that is 6, which is greater than 5. So that means we will wrap up. So our final answer must be 12. 12 what final answer is that? So if you have a number of 1,166 points something, then you will say that the significant figures are not given to 12. Okay? Right? Okay? Right? So what do we do with the number of 6 and 6? We will write a place folder. So let me pull up that. 1,200 Okay, let's have another problem involving uh, multiplication and division So we have 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 6 multiplied by 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 6 multiplied 
multiply by 9.1 times 10 to the power of 9 all over 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Again, take note of the operations used in the problem. This time, we only have multiplication and division. At meron lang tayo yung isang rule for multiplication and division, tama? And that is the least number of significant figures. So since we only have multiplication and division, we can just input that in our calculator. The calculator will do the task. So multiply that, and then, and then, and then, multiply. And uh, our answer, or your calculator, will give you an answer of 45.5. Okay, 45.5, so that's a calculator. Yeah. Now, what will be our final answer? Since that is multiplication and division, what is the rule? Least number of significant figures. So we will count the least number, the number of significant figures in our uh, given. So this has how many significant figures? This has two significant figures. Sir, bakit dalawa ng significant figures na yan? Huwag ka magpapalubo sa times time to the power of negative 6. Huwag ka magpapalubo dyan. Magpapalubo ka naman na yan. Magpapalubo ka dyan. Sir, na. So, huwag ka magpapalubo sa mga times time to the power of negative 6. So, hindi yan kasali sa counting ng significant figures. So, we only have two significant figures. This has two significant figures. This has two significant figures. And this has two significant figures. So, walang problema. So, our answer is only have two significant figures. One, two. That means, ito yung a round of natin. Take note of the number next to the right. This time, that is exactly five. Special case to That is exactly five. However, this is at number. Hindi siya even. So, this is not a special case. So that means we will wrap this up. So our final